out friends. Have you got the sketchbooks? <laughs> so we got a cool little video that we're doing today, which is with some stuff that a subscriber called Charlene sent us. Yeah, thank you Charlene. You sent like the most amazing, well we'll show you, you sent the most amazing thing. <laughs> we need to show it all in like a mail time properly one mm. day. But she sent us two pencil cases that she handmade herself. Yeah, and it's not enough that she made them herself. She's packed them with like art supplies. Yeah. And since these are a bunch of art supplies that we haven't like picked out ourselves, we thought it'd be really fun to try and draw something. With, try and draw something with, with them. a pencil case curated by Charlene. Yeah. So <laughs> thank you, Charlene. This is going to be a lot of fun, and this is happening because of you. Now, as you'll probably find out from some footage that we have, we actually originally tried to film this outside in a cafe. We did. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hi, art friends. Hello. <laughs> Yummy food. Have you found somewhere to put your gum yet? Yeah. Oh good. <laughs> Where'd you put, put it? In the receipt. <laughs> Can you stop eating crisps? You're meant to be getting the pencil <laughs> don't, case out. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> We're planning on doing like a pencil case swap because a subscriber called Charlene was really, really sweet and sent us a bunch of stuff that we haven't shown just yet. Yeah, Charlene. Um, thank you so much, Charlene. This yeah, we are a huge thank you. And I'm presuming that this one's for me, and I'm presuming this one's for Adam. That's what we're guessing. Because there's a pink and blue pencil sharpener inside. Yeah, thank you for helping. There you go. And as you can see, there's quite a mix of stuff that she's put in. And we thought it would be cool to do a video where we just draw with the stuff that's in here. Yeah, because <laughs> there's such a massive, there's so many different kinds of things. <laughs> yeah. We've even got like, these are the pink pencil sharpener. There it is. I've taken a few of the things out because I've been using these. Yeah. I really love this pen. Oh, the Micron Air The Unibolt Air. Yeah. Then we've got two Microns. I didn't Sakura have them in these one. sizes, so that's really handy. We've got pencils. I think these are 8B and 9B, yeah. Really nice dark ones, soft pencils. Then there's this bag of goodies. I've never heard of this brand before called V Pen. Oh yeah. We went out and bought one in black that I've actually got in the bag down here somewhere. Yeah, we went and bought one today. Because <laughs> we liked it, so <laughs> I got one as well. Now. <laughs> Are they similar? Pen buddies. Kind of, Sammy. But this one's in purple and it's a fountain pen nib. Highlighters and a blue highlighter. Oh, uh, that's the way to your heart. And this Highlighters. Is also similar to the one I used to look in yeah. like, my childhood. Incredible. <laughs> More highlighters. <laughs> look at all those. And look at this, right? A neon Posca pen. I didn't even know the difference. I didn't even know that these existed. It's like my two favorite things put together. And a really, really cute little pin oh, yeah. of Quebec. We both got one of those each. I wonder gonna... if we should pin it on like the pencil case. That'd be really cute. Oh, that'd be really sweet, yeah. And Adam's got pretty much the same stuff as me, but some of it's in different colours. Oh, Charlene, you're so sweet. You didn't have to get yeah, all this. Susie, thank you so, so much. So, this one is Adam's. As you can see, it's kind of the same as mine, but he's got a green pen. Mine was in purple. You can see it in there. And your neon one is like an orangey oh, that's really neon. Nice. And I think that's the main difference between us. Now, funnily enough, today's a bit of like a strange day because we've got an appointment that we need to go to some meeting thing in a few hours. Yes, months. and we had the awesome idea to come here super early and film, and then everything's too loud. <laughs> yeah, there's too many people here. <laughs> So, I'm not sure if we're going to go to the meeting first and then go home and draw or where we're going to end up drawing. Who knows, <laughs> guys? It's an adventure together. So, we're back in our wonderful bedroom. So, we're home now, and if anyone knocks the door, we're going to pretend. Hey, are you opening here. your pencil case already? Yeah. And we also got sent these little pins. Yeah, I got one as well. And it says Quebec. I hope we're saying that right. As you might know, my knowledge of the world and stuff is horrendous. <laughs> this one time I tricked Steph that uh, Cardiff in Wales had moved because of the recession. Like the whole country, the whole uh, city moved. <laughs> Adam's such like a believable person that anything he tells me, I'm like, oh wow. <laughs> Are you putting it on your top? Yeah, it's a pin, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Now it looks like I've got a fancy button shirt. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, I'm excited to use mine. No, wait, there you go. Let's open this for you. So for this, am I allowed to use your orange Posca pen or do I have to strictly no. use the things I meant? Oh. You use your own things. There you oh, go. Give me that back then, you're yeah. not having it. <laughs> I don't even want your smelly yellow pen. I've got three yellow pens of my own. Oh yeah, you do? Wow. I've got pinks and blues and stuff. <laughs> oh. Oh, I forgot with it being a Posca, we have to... Yeah, you need to give it a good pump first. Oh, some stuff stuck. Oh, wow, it does Ooh. look like a highlighter. Oh, and if you're curious, guys, that's where we decided to keep Monty. He lives with us now. <laughs> hey, I wanted to start first. No. <laughs> I don't a... even know if this is going to go to plan or not. Is it a dog? 
No, I want to try to draw an owl. What kind of owl? I don't know, I've got so many owl references up that it could be any kind of owl. I might give it big owl eyebrows. I'm sure the pen that we got sent had a little. I'm not sure what kind, but I'm oh, pretty sure. I was sure inspired it had an by one. this one on the pencil case. That's oh, so he's cute. a handsome fellow. <laughs> this is a new favourite that I found because of Charlene. Oh, the micro uh, uh, ones, this yeah. This isn't a micro one, it's an Uniball Air. You like it because, well, you can control the line really well. Yeah, you can do like really thin and thick lines. In fact, I'm going to quickly show you an example in the back of this. Ooh. So you can go down kind of lightly and then you can push down and get a really thick line. But the tip is so strange looking. I mean, it I almost, can it almost it. looks like you can't tell where the pen ends and begins. Yeah, I mean, it is meant to be like a ballpoint one, hmm. I think, but the packaging of the ones that we bought said that they write like a fountain pen, but they're actually a ballpoint pen, which is magic. <laughs> what a, tell me your secrets, magic pen. I know, right? <laughs> Here's how my little owls come along. <laughs> I think it's really cute looking. Can we have a look at what you're up to? It's very rough at the moment. Has it got a glove on? <laughs> no, that's how I'm drawing the hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the only detail I could make nice out. Nice glove hand you have. <laughs> Which pencil are you sketching in? This is the 8B one. It's the lightest one that we have. Ah, it's the same one I was using. Yeah. What's the name of the brand of these, by the way? Oh, this is a brand I've never heard of Seriously, before. Seriously, maybe it's... I'm guessing, I think uh, Quebec is a French-speaking part of Canada, so it might be a French brand, maybe? Are we even pronouncing it correctly? <laughs> I don't know. Siri, how do you pronounce Quebec? Here's what I found on the web from Quebec, Canada. Quebec. That's what Siri says, so... <laughs> I cannot find Quebec. I like how I've managed to pick a subject that you... should probably be drawn in lots of, like, browns and nature colours. And I've got all, like, bright pinks, blues, <laughs> and fluorescent yellows. She's like the, it's like the easiest bird to see when you go bird spot. I know, right? This, this neon coloured owl. Someone recently pulled us up on, you know, the uh, tropical bird video we did? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because we mentioned in that that we should do an English bird one, because we have that other little book. Yes, yeah. We should do that one day. Okay. I like any excuse to draw birds. <laughs> I think that would be pretty fun. She's holding a big stick. It's gonna be some kind of like wizard mage stuff, so it's all like gnarled and broken and stuff. <laughs> I'm not sure what to put on the top of it, whether to have like a circle or maybe some... There, oh, there we go, it can be holding some orb thing, that's pretty cool. <laughs> you just made that up as you went along, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you do the face. You want to watch me do the face? Yeah, no pressure. <sighs> Should we give a... I always never really draw like big ears on a, in Doodle Dates. No, I never really give a character really... Mm. Oh, like elfy yeah. kind of ears. You're a little... <laughs> no. What was that? I got my hand stuck to this cardboard. <laughs> 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 you know, we're like some eyes maybe like this. Oh, they're going the big deep eyebrows. I like big deep eyebrows. <laughs> wow, you did that so quickly. Yeah, no. We've just started to use the pencil sharpener for the first time. And we've discovered it's the best sharpener ever. <laughs> I've never seen one like this. It's like you sharpen it and then... It's got Isn't like a twisty so cool? device. It's a really good sharpener <laughs> as well. I mean, look at that. It's a... Oh, that's sharp. That's a really, really good sharpener. It's got a little yellow twisty thing, so I think you can control the type of nib that you get when you do it by... Pointy and broad, I think. It kind of reminds me of like those 90s lolly dispensers. <laughs> Chupa Chups used to have like a little plastic device you'd put your lolly in, and you put a battery in it, you used to spin your lollipop around while it was in your oh mouth. Oh my god, that sounds so dangerous! <laughs> I used to <laughs> love those. <laughs> can you explain what this is? No. <laughs> I don't thought it would be a good idea to see what happens if you open this little door I didn't on the pencil sharpener. I was sharpener. like, how, how does it work? How does it open? Don't open it again! <laughs> they, I may have opened pencil sharpenings on the bed. Okay, I'm gonna do its eyes bright yellow, because I think owls usually have... Ooh, isn't that really pretty? Eyes. Look at that! Looks like so, he's looking um... directly into the sun. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> don't look into the sun, kids. It's dangerous. Whenever I look at the sun, I sneeze. Does anyone else have That's that? That's a really good mechanism <laughs> not to go blind. You've been using a lot of sort of inky nibbed pens recently, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, it's sort of turned into my thing. I'd never really used them before. Uh, what type of owl is this owl? I've never seen a, a glowing-eyed <laughs> purple-headed owl before. You might be best not asking about breed, because I think it's a bit of a mutant owl. 
<laughs> what sound does it make? <laughs> cuckoo! <laughs> <laughs> oh my word! Cuckoo! Greetings! <laughs> it's me! You said that his eye was bleeding, so maybe his mascara has gone into Ow. it. <laughs> I just accidentally trapped my thumb in the vent. Oh no! Why? Oh, I noticed the difference between some of the highlighters. Some of them are more so like ordinary kinds, like this. Okay, yeah. And this one is a grippy one. And look at that, it's got a really grippy handle. It's for when you need to highlight things intensely and you need <laughs> extra grip. Which yellow shall I use? I think you might have a grippy yellow. Oh, I'd like that one. No. You don't want grippy yellow. Oh, that's blue. I can, I can handle blue, Sonny. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. The orb will be a good thing to use with highlighters. Hmm, I'm not sure what colour to do it though. You could do it bright yellow or fluorescent <laughs> You could orange. do it bright yellow or fluorescent yellow <laughs> yeah, or bright. very yellow. <laughs> do we give her like yellow hair? I'll go for it. <laughs> you think there's like another dimension somewhere in the world where everything is like fluorescent and neon? Oh, that would be so cool. If there is, I want to live there. <laughs> I wonder if you have to wear like sunglasses all the time because everything's too bright. <laughs> ah! Ah! And when it's night time, everything glows in the dark. Oh, that'd be really cool. I knew you'd use the Posca pen. Oh, you still need to get the... Should we do some pumping on the back? <laughs> some pumping. <laughs> pumping with my back legs. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I think we're there. Oh, the camera battery's flashing. Oh, no! This just turned into a speed paint. Do you think that's why people do speed paints? Because the camera battery is running out. I think they, I think people film speed paints at normal speed and then speed them up. <laughs> they don't just go like, ah! <laughs> I'm pretty sure this bird happened. I never realized all this time. <laughs> okay, I want to line this bird in purple. Cuckoo. Oh no, wow, it bled right into that. <laughs> that's kind of cool, it made a little shadow by itself. <laughs> Cuckoo, I appear to be bleeding. <laughs> That made such a cool shadow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is the definition of a happy little accident right there. I don't think I'd be able to do that again if I tried. Yours does look stylized and awesome. Mine just looks like a pencil drawing with highlighters put on it. <laughs> I like your pencil highlighter drawing. Oh, you're very sweet. I'm trying to give it like a shadow. He's got such a golf ball head, it looks great. <laughs> it's not the look I was going for, but... <laughs> You just want to whack it with a golf club. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, what are you doing? I'm using this because I'm really... Oh, the little green Yeah, I'm pack. really curious as to... Oh, that's really cool. Are you using it to put little stitching details yeah. in? Yeah. And I gave I did give her a little glove in the end, thanks to your inspiration. <laughs> he inspired you with the glove. I was going to try and do a design, but the ink does bleed a little bit, so I'm not 100% sure. It's probably sure. just our paper that we use. Because this stuff's kind of made out of wood, we'll give, give it some little... Ah, oh, little wood print some details. Some wood, wood grain stuff. It's looking really good. You like it? I'm, I'm going to wait for that to dry and then I'm going to smudge it so the stick looks like it has some colour on it. I might do some kind of magic effect coming out of this stuff, maybe. Ooh. Oh, like electricity. Yeah. Nothing, nothing overly, you know, fancy and stuff, but. Have you got any cool lightning facts? Uh, it's really painful. <laughs> <laughs> Have you actually been hit by lightning? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's letting me do it now. You're not smudging the ink, are you? Well, if I am, it's too late now. It's okay. <laughs> There we go, that's kind of, that probably could have done a bit of a better job on that wood effect, but... <laughs> I like it. It kind of looks like she's just drawn on it, it's like, oh, I'm gonna make it look like wood. Maybe it's a cosplay stick. <laughs> yeah, that shoots electricity, I would love a, <laughs> I would love a cosplay stuff, like, as we shoots electricity, that'd be great. I ended up turning my my bird into some kind of a magical yours looks owl. Like, yeah, yours looks like, it's like a shiny Pokemon now. That could totally pass as like a Pokemon, <laughs> yeah? I really like yours. We did a video kind of similar once before called a mystery pencil case swap. Yeah, which we swapped each other's pencil cases and that one actually turned out quite fun. Yeah, because Adam had to use markers and I had to use pencils and Yeah, stuff. it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. And we actually managed to film that one outside. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> 
And as always, thank you so much to everyone who's been pledging to us on Patreon. Yeah, thanks guys. We really appreciate it. And we hope you've been enjoying the little secret updates we've been giving you. Yeah, because we post extra videos and artwork and all kinds of stuff yeah. over on there. If you, if you, and if you guys don't know what it is, we'll give you a link in the description. Doodle date. Cool, cool.